Hello. I wanted to take a moment today to reflect on Rainbow Network's evolution over the past three years and how we have all worked together to share and expand this mission, which is to share in the love of Jesus Christ by partnering with Nicaragua's poorest people through health care, education, economic development, and housing. When I accepted the role as the next leader of Rainbow Network, we had already cultivated a variety of goals and projects that we wanted to focus on as an organization. Granadillo Dos was already under construction and we were getting ready to adopt our ninth network, San Isidro. I really wanted to keep that momentum going and continue strengthening our relationships within our organization as well as with our communities and partners. As I assumed this position, I wanted everybody to be focused on growth, sustainable progress, and how we can best serve the people of rural Nicaragua. Back in 2018, Nicaragua was undergoing significant civil unrest, which affected our communities there as well as here in the U.S. We praise God for allowing us to continue working through that time. All we lacked was the ability to have our U.S. partners visit our work in Nicaragua. As civil unrest subsided and trips were being planned, the COVID-19 pandemic hit the entire world, and again, travel was suspended. We faced the same unknowns that the entire world faced. We were unsure how COVID was going to affect our community partners, staff, and donors. Thanks to God, we have been affected very little by the pandemic in Nicaragua, and you, our donors, have stayed with us through this time. Thankfully, we have been able to expand our medical clinics and medical staff so that we have been meeting with more patients than ever before. We were able to meet the needs of rural Nicaragua during the pandemic, thanks to the generosity of support for PPE, masks, sanitizers, and other protective supplies. Our team has done a wonderful job of sharing prevention and symptoms of the virus, so the cases have remained low. Just as we began to see the progress during the pandemic, two Category 4 hurricanes hit rural Nicaragua in early November last year. That was another devastating blow to the people, but our Rainbow Network community made it possible for us to immediately take action and provide food, clothing, and shelter to those affected by the storms. Nicaragua's resiliency was highlighted again as the people worked hard to bounce back from these great storms. I have been privileged to lead and witness so many incredible changes in the rural Nicaraguan communities over these last three years. Since 2018, we have completed seven housing projects that consisted of a combined total of 170 homes. We currently have two more housing projects under construction right now and expect another 120 homes within the next year. I have had the pleasure of watching several students that I have met graduate high school over the last three years and we have had a total of 517 earn their high school diploma. Within our organization, we have implemented a more structured process of collecting metrics, including both outputs and outcomes, so that we can easily measure and share our successes with you. Most recently, we are developing a new strategy to better serve our communities and are redefining what success means to the Rainbow Network and to the people of rural Nicaragua. Truly, the essence of our work is to support the people as they work their way out of extreme poverty, and that means we should not be present for an indefinite period of time. We want to foster independence, self-sufficiency, and healthier communities, so we are creating a step-by-step -step plan to ensure that happens. Finally, some exciting news I want to share with you is that we are scoping out our 10th network. Our supporters and partners in Rainbow Network have completely blown us away over the last few years with their dedication to the mission and to the people of rural Nicaragua. We are able to expand our efforts and plan on doing so by connecting with a community in a brand new location of Nicaragua. Stay tuned for that exciting announcement and more information about our newest community. I believe that God calls us to do all things with excellence and we are working to honor him in all that we do. These last three years have seen great needs met in rural Nicaragua, and we have faith in God that these next three years will be even greater. Thank you for trusting us with your gifts, your prayers, and your time. Please know that your sacrifices are changing lives. Thank you.